here's the raw image and because it's slightly wider than 800 by 600 pixels I can't quite fit the whole thing into my window but uh, I've positioned it so you can see the tools that we need to see and the source image as well now by default when you open up a raw file it attempts to work out automatically what the image should look like and here you've got um, fairly decent exposure around the um, background there but you've still got a very burnt out foreground and you can see from the histogram that um, there's no real peaking in the um, darker and the mid-tone sections here but we've got some very strong um, peaks up here in the highlights and uh, we can see the warning as well by turning on the clipping now it's not really giving us the image that we want we're going to have to do a bit of work here so let's just turn off the auto and let's see what the image actually looks like from the camera you can see with the highlight clipping warning these are the areas that won't print out anything other than pure white then we've got big problems here with our original exposure the background looks fine but the um, problem is really with this section so to get rid of the clipping make sure you've got it turned on and then try taking the exposure down and as you go so I'll just do that again because that was very quick let's just take it down and you can see now we're getting a little bit of detail being rescued there in the clipped area so there's nothing actually going to print out as pure white now we've actually got some detail but we're kind of enhancing these tinges of color here there's a kind of green yellow tinge there which looks pretty horrible and we'll deal with that in due course so that is the version that's going to bring us detail into the blown out highlights and we're going to save that as um, one particular file before we start to create a version for the background exposure and to do that I'm just going to go down to open which you can't quite see because it's just off the bottom of, of the screen here but I've got a little open button click open and it will open it up within Photoshop properly so I'll just um, do a little edit and we'll go in and have a look at the image in Photoshop itself so we've opened up the raw image in Photoshop to create an image that's exposing for detail in the highlights and uh, we've got a lot of problems still, we've got this green tinge but we'll sort that out later let's just save a version as um, we'll call this one highlights keep it as a TIFF so we don't lose um, much quality you could turn that into a JPEG of course, I'm just going to put that onto the desktop and call that highlights for the moment and then what we'll do in the next movie is we'll create a version to expose for the background and then we'll combine the two to create a composite image with detail in the foreground and in the highlights as well on the swans what we'll do next is go to the original raw file and drag that onto the elements workspace and it will open it up uh, in the raw editor because it will recognize that it is a raw file let's just drag that in so you can see it and press H for the hand tool so I can just bring that um, a little bit further to the right there there we go so you can see this one's in more detail right what we're interested in is the background particularly so let's have a look at exposing for the background let's see what the auto options uh, recommend let's just click on those for the moment and you can see there that uh, we've got some black pixels at the very far left here and then the range of mid-tone pixels I'm not worrying about the clipping here now because we've got our um, other version sorted out and let me just play a little bit with the, um, the brightness just to brighten up the background a wee bit more so we've got a lot of detail with these ducks in the background and let's go to open again here we go in Photoshop itself here's our second version of the same wall file this time exposing for the background details so let's save this one as we'll call it background make it a TIFF so I'm not going to bother putting that in the organizer let's save that now so we've got um, an exposure for the swans an exposure for the background in the next movie what we'll do is take them both and blend them together in Photoshop elements to create our final composite image see you in the next movie